February was a wild ride for the La Crescenta housing market. From record low new listings to a dip in average home prices, the market is showing very interesting trends. So what big changes are happening in the market? Let's dive in. Welcome back everyone, I'm James Yu with Think Real Estate, a local realtor here in La Crescenta. So let's start with the big news, inventory. So we only had 8 new listings. Yes, 8 new listings come on the market in February. Can you believe it? This is about 70% less than what we usually see. And we had 16 new listings in January, which was also a record low for the month. So to beat that by 100% says a lot about the current state of the market, especially with sellers. Now let's talk about home prices. The average home Home price in February was $1,188,000, which was 11% lower than the previous year of $1,330,000 and 6% lower than January's $1,270,000. However, the average price per square foot jumped to $893, which was a slight increase from $875 in 2022 and a big 18% increase from $755 last month. So, are home prices really dropping? Well, not so much here in La Crescenta. This just shows that we mostly had smaller entry homes selling in the market and to top it off we literally didn't have a single home over 2,000 square foot sold in February. Crazy right? So why are we seeing such drop in new listings and this price trend? Well it's because many longtime homeowners and empty nesters who own larger homes are actually staying put because they have locked in historically low rates during the pandemic and since there aren't many homes on the market for them to move to they're just not downsizing. Plus with interest rate being so volatile many would-be sellers are waiting for the rates to either drop or somewhat stabilize before planning their next move. As we approach the spring housing market, it's becoming increasingly clear that the trend in new listing data, coupled with rocky inflation and volatile interest rates, is a cause for concern, particularly for buyers. However, despite all of this, the prices haven't crashed, mainly due to the lack of inventory. This is actually causing multiple offers to come back, and it's just simple supply and demand economics at play. So if you've been waiting for the market to crash big before making a purchase, it might be time to invest in a new crystal ball. In fact, my advice to buyers is that if you find the right home at a payment you can afford, it may make sense to buy now and refinance down the road once the rates come down. The market will become even more competitive when rates starts getting into the 5% and even lower, and interest rates will eventually drop as inflation gets tamed. And lastly, if you're a homeowner in La Crescenta and curious about how your home's value has changed, click on the home value link below to get the most up-to-date home valuation. So there you have it. I hope you found this information helpful and informative. And if you did, please give this video a like and share it with your friends and family. And don't forget to follow me for more market updates and real estate tips in the future. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one.